Hi, my name is Boris and in today's video I'm about to show you how to design a pad from the track you're about to hear. Okay, so we are going to take a look at the background pad that I have just soloed and I'm sure the techniques you'll learn today will apply to making all kinds of background pad sounds. This is going to be a pretty simple sound, we're not going to use any advanced sound design techniques, uh, we are just going to use Ableton's wavetable synthesizer as well as some stock effects. This is going to be a really fun thing to do. Before we jump into making this sound, make sure to check out the project file, it's called Sound Vibes Progressive House, available on our website. and. Uh, the link should be in the description. And let me just show you the chords that we are playing over here. The specific inversions that uh, are applied here, I've analyzed in a previous video, uh, which was devoted to making chord progressions and melodies. So make sure to check that one out if you're interested in harmony. But let's quickly just go over the chords. Uh, it's C, E, G and C, and we are in uh, C Lydian. And it's pretty much represented by the bass notes over here. We've got some inversions, but it's a pretty simple progression. Right, so before we start, let me just uh, disable the master chain we've got going on here and I'll make a brand new MIDI track and let's just copy over the MIDI information we've got uh, from our background pad. I'll loop this bit and I'll just search for wavetable. Let's put it uh, this new instance onto this new MIDI track and let's start designing our sound. Okay, let's maybe expand this view, which is maybe going to make it a little bit easier to understand what's going on. Okay, so just to remind you, if you're already familiar with Wavetable uh, or if you're new to Wavetable, I'll briefly explain how it works. Basically, you've got two oscillators, which are sound sources. So you've got oscillator one, oscillator two, as well as a sub oscillator, and these generate our sounds. We've got some envelopes Envelopes, which allow you to shape your sounds as well as some LFOs which basically are sine waves which allow you to also modulate your sound sources and you've got a filter over here uh, which allows you to reduce the frequency spectrum of uh, some parts of your sound as well as you've got this matrix and this matrix view is basically for assigning these envelopes as well as these LFOs to certain parameters in the synthesizer. So we are going to start from oscillator one, which is already set to um, what uh, we want to start from. So we are starting from a sine wave. This is what it should sound like by now. So it's a very mellow, fluty sort of uh, sound. Let's just enable oscillator 2 for now. And with this one, we are going to apply a saw wave. So let's go up over here uh, until we reach the saw wave around 67%. And let's play that together. I'll probably just have to turn down the volume of this track slightly. So as you can hear, the sound got uh, way fuller, but it's also very bright at the moment. Right, so we are going to apply a filter, which basically is going to remove some of the top end from this sound. We are going to stick with this 12 dB per octave curve, which is by default enabled in Wavetable. And let's just roll down the frequency knob and it's going to be a little bit more mellow.
Okay, so we are going to settle somewhere around 460 Hertz. You can just type that in if you click on frequency and you'll get the exact same value. We are not going to apply any resonance over here, which slightly changes the way the filter would sound. The last uh, thing we are going to do in uh, wavetable is enabling the shimmer unison mode. So let's go over here to shimmer and we are going to stick with uh, our three voices and let's just hear how that sounds. And maybe let's uh, mess around with this amount not control over here. And I'm going to settle around uh, 20%. Just a quick break before we go back to the tutorial. If you find these type of videos helpful, we can highly recommend the PML Academy with over 35 full-length online courses, spreading over topics like writing chords and melodies or arranging your songs to producing entire songs from start to finish. So check out the link in the description to see what's inside the All Courses bundle exactly. Right, so that's pretty much our source. Now we can shape it with uh, EQ eights, which are equalizers with eight bands in Ableton Live, which allow you to really shape your sound uh, however you want. Let's just load up uh, EQ eight. You'll find it in audio effects in the browser. Uh, we can expand this view and now let's uh, shape our frequency spectrum. So the first thing we're going to apply is uh, a high pass filter. So it's the first one when you expand this little menu and let's go to around 65 Hertz. We are set, I've just rolled down the Q a little bit. Another curve we're going to apply is a 12 dB low pass curve and let's just enable it over here. And I have settled it uh, around uh, 4.33 kilohertz. If you'd like to type that in, you just need to type 4330 and you've got the value. And with the Q, I went down to 0 0.63. All right, so now let's add another EQ8. And this time we're going to add some mid-side processing in order to make the stereo image wider. Okay, let's uh, just drop another EQ8 and let's go to mid-side mode from this drop down menu over here. Okay, so with the mid channel, we are going to cut some of the low end around 600 Hertz. So we're just going to leave the mids and the highs. Um, let's uh, just play it. And uh, now if we switch to the sides, we are going to boost some of the high frequencies. We're going to cut some of the lows, but we're not going to cut as much as uh, we did on the mid channel. So we're leaving more on the stereo sides, which is going to make the sound sit in the background instead of being in the mono channel. Let's uh, just roll down some of the lows. I'm just going to leave this curve around 110 Hertz and uh, I'm going to apply a high shelf. So let's disable these curves and uh, I'll add a shelf and uh, we're going to boost some of the high frequencies with it. One point thirty five kilohertz. Another thing we're going to add, the last adjustment is going to be a little bow curve, which basically is going to turn down some of these frequencies over here. So now we can actually AB this sound, selecting both of these effects with uh, Shift and Command G or Control G on Windows. We can group these effects and let's AB and listen to the changes we've made.
we can actually AB between the source sound from the track and what we've created today. But before we uh, do that, we can just paste in the sidechain compressor. This is a regular sidechain compression, which is basically sidechaining to the kick from the sidechain track. This is just creating a little pumping effect to make it fit with the style of the track. And this is what it sounds like. And now we can um, check if this is close to the sound we are aiming at. Okay, so to me it sounds very close. Thank you guys very much for watching today. If you are interested in more sound design tutorials like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell. If you are interested in sound design, make sure to check out our sound design courses on our website. Uh, we've got Ableton beginners courses as well. Other than that, thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you next time in another video. Bye.